Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Today's video is just going to be a bit of a vlog, but I am doing my hair today, so I thought I would start the vlog with my hair because we are sorting these roots out today. We're going away this weekend actually, so I thought I text my friend and I said, are you free this week? Just in case, just because, you know, we're going away and I thought it'd be nice to have my hair all freshly done instead of waiting it out any longer. It's been about nine weeks since I last had it coloured, so a very long time. And although it doesn't like from a distance you wouldn't know it's only close up where you can see those greys so we're going to get rid of those today look at them they are out in full force today and um, i washed my hair a couple of days ago i literally just blow dried it so you can see there's a few little curly bits under here because i didn't bother straightening it it's absolutely fine i actually am so happy that i can just blow dry it now and kind of leave it I do wonder what it would go like if I was just to like air dry it and not do anything to it apart from just put a bit of product in it but yeah I don't know but anyway today what we're going to do is we're literally just going to do my roots because I do like the colour that it's lifted out to on the ends I don't mind this more lighter tone at the end which is of course where all of the, um, the blonde is underneath still but we're getting there it's growing out very well and this top section feels so silky soft still which I love because obviously it's all fresh new hair and it's like not damaged by bleach and stuff but um my hair does feel great anyway so I'm really happy with that so yeah we're gonna do my hair today how exciting we're gonna go with the same kind of colors that we used on my hair when I was in the salon however because we're gonna go in with a uh, permanent this time and we're gonna mix it with a slightly darker color because if we go in with the same color I had last time with a permanent so 20% then it would lift my hair a little bit too much so i might get root glow which is what we try and we're trying to avoid that so we're going to mix it with half of the original color that i had and then half with a slightly darker color just to kind of counteract that lift and bring it down a little bit so that's what we're going to do we're going with 20 vol just because i found that using the 15 vol last time it just didn't cover the grays enough for me and you can kind of still see them glowing through so i just feel like if we go in with a 20 vol it's going to cover it so it's a permanent color that we're going to be putting on my roots today um but yeah hopefully i can explain it a little bit better when we're mixing up the color and stuff and i can kind of give you a, a talk through of what we're using and stuff just in case you wanted to do it from home i know a lot of people did say that if i end up doing it at home then they wanted me to share that process so even though my friend is going to be doing it for me today like applying it I still want to like share it with you today and kind of share the process if I can so yeah anyway I'm all in brown today I thought I'd put an old top on just in case we get colour on it um but yeah this is going to be a nice little a little glow up today I feel like with brunette like it never looks really much different so it's hard to kind of show the difference whereas when I would go in for my highlights and stuff it would always look so much brighter but with brunette it kind of looks all the same really so it won't look much different later on anyway I'm going to go set up downstairs and then I will show you when we mix the colour. I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing here. So I'm using the L'Oreal Majorelle colour and I'm using the shade 5 and 6. So I'm using half a tube of each and I'm going to mix them together using 20 vol and this is what I'm going to be using on my roots today. Because I like the colour of my ends, I won't be applying any colour to the ends of my hair today, just the roots. So we're going to be using the kind of hot cross bun method. You split your hair into four sections from ear to ear and forehead to nape of the neck. Then you apply the colour to your roots and be careful not to overlap this, previous applications. Then you just take diagonal sections inside each quarter, starting at the back and continue applying both sides of the roots until the whole head is done so sorry that this footage isn't the clearest I was filming on my phone as well and my eyesight is not the best so I didn't see that it was out of focus but anyway we left it on for 35 to 40 minutes so I just set myself a timer and then I washed it off and styled it and that is how we did my roots today okay my love so that's my hair all done now I'm super happy with it so we've just done those roots there I literally only did the roots today we haven't put it through to the ends and I feel like it all blends really nicely actually because it kind of goes with the ends of my hair now it's really soft and gorgeous so we've gone for that nice chocolate brown super happy with it so that is my hair all done I've got no more greys which is just beautiful and it's all fresh for our weekend away this weekend so I'm really happy with that and I've still got another half and half of a tube so I've got another load of colour for the next time that I want to do my hair which is so handy definitely just got to do it like this until I want to obviously add any pieces in it if I ever want to add any lighter pieces in it 
I can just get my friend to just do that for me anyway she can just do that but I basically got her to apply it today which was so much easier it's so much easier if you've got someone else to do it for you but um, when you're doing it you need to kind of split your hair in half you need to do like a hot cross bun basically on your head so you you'll go all the way down the center <laughs> it's so hard to explain I know what I mean when I'm saying it but it's really hard to explain but it is super easy especially if you're only doing your roots like mine today so that is my hair as you can see it's all freshly done now all nice i straightened it but then i wanted to add a bit of a curl because i just feel feel like you have to do this on your like hair days fresh hair days you need to curl it so that is my hair all done now and i'm feeling good about it i was gonna use i've got the new G ghd um duet style i haven't used this yet so i'm gonna have to show you it in another video because they sent it to me the other day it's the new two in two in one hot air styler i've seen so many people use it but because I wanted to add a few curls, I just thought there's no point today. And I want to be able to sit down and do that with time. And I'm busy chatting and it's just nice to catch up with my friends. So we were having a lovely morning. We had such a nice morning this morning. So I'm really grateful that she came around and did that for me. And yeah, I didn't have it cut or anything today. So I'll probably just have it trimmed in a few weeks time. So yeah, that's my hair all done. How lovely. That was just so fuss free and easy to do so I'm really pleased that I just decided to go and have it done at home because it's just so much quicker isn't it than go into the salon you literally leave it on for like 35 40 minutes and then wash it off and you're done lovely job so yeah that was that um now what am I going to do I don't know what I'm gonna have some lunch actually what time is it it's 20 past one yeah I've got some work to do I really do need to get some work done actually so I'm gonna get that done now after lunch and then I'll be back probably tomorrow Milan this is Milan's favourite spot. He keeps finding the basket and jumping in there. He's so funny. It's Easter holidays at the minute. The boys are all home. We just got back from Butlins, haven't we, Milan? Hey? Are you comfortable in there? You're getting a bit big for that now. What have you spotted? <laughs> Found something. What have you found? Right, I have to show you my favourite of the month, which is my walking pad. So I bought this walking pad from Amazon because I'd seen so many people using these on TikTok and I thought, oh, that looks really good. Like that would be really useful. And then I thought, I'm not gonna buy it because I probably won't use it and it will just end up being under the sofa and I'll never use it. But I have popped it in this spot and do you know what? I've been using it most days actually since I got it and I've had it for a good couple of weeks now. And I love it. So I got the walking pad with this kind of um, armrest, I suppose, but you can actually put your tablet on here or your phone. But what I love about the position of it is that I just put my phone up here, pop some Netflix on, and then I, I'm good to go. And it's just a, the perfect little walking pad for me. It's really good. It's really small, quite heavy. So I don't tend to move it around very often. I just keep it in that spot put my my phone on there and then just watch like a netflix program or something like that so it's been brilliant i'm really really happy with it you can put up to like level 10 i don't really know what that means but anyway it goes quite fast you could do a jog on it but i tend to just do a bit of speed walking and go on there for like 10 15 minutes at a time if it's been bad weather and i haven't really had a chance to go out and i'll use this and it's just been brilliant like i can get about i'd say a thousand to fifteen hundred steps in in about 10 to 15 minutes so that's just going at a leisurely pace you know quite a chilled pace but if I want to go a bit faster then you know I'll obviously get more steps in but it's just really good to like pop on there for 10-15 minutes at a time sometimes longer it just depends what I'm up to really but it's been absolutely brilliant I've got this one on Amazon I read a lot of the different reviews and this one had really good reviews and yeah I've been really liking it you can take this bar off if you don't want it and you want to just pop it under a desk but I don't have one of those tall desks so I just have it like this but it would be quite handy to have a desk there so I could do my work at the same time this is what I've been using I thought I would mention it because I think it's been really good and I have really enjoyed using it and even Mark gets on it the kids always want to go on it but there is like a, a safety thing that you can put on there so they can't use it they can't use it now even if they was to turn it on because you need this like um red safety thing that you pop on here the safety key so they can't use it um right now because I've put the safety key away but yeah it's brilliant I'm really happy with this so I thought I'd mention it if you're thinking about getting a walking pad and you've been putting it off or you're saving up to get one I think I would definitely say they are 
worth it and when you get one you will love it it's so good it's not too loud either it's quite quiet actually and yeah i've just popped it here it's in a good little position there although obviously they can't really get to the toys as much there it's just been working really well so i just kind of tend to help them out when they need to get some toys out and move it out the way but yeah it doesn't look the best there but i just find that if i have it out constantly then i'm more likely to use it whereas if i put it away i'm way less likely to use it so it's just been there fits well in this little spot for now and like i said i've got my nice shelf there i can watch a program at the same time hello my loves right it's been it's actually been almost a week since i started this vlog so huge apologies i did have like loads of plans to vlog and then the easter holidays began and we went to butlins for the weekend so it's just been crazy and i haven't been able to even pick up the camera to come on and say hello we'll have a chat with you but yeah like i said we've just got back from butlins we went away for the weekend we went for like a long weekend so we were away for three nights four days and we went to minehead which is just so ideal for us because it's only an hour away from us and we haven't been for like six years so orlando's never been to butlins and we had the best time i think this was honestly my favorite time at butlins we had such a good time they just cater for all ages at butlins and of course we've got a 10 year old now an almost seven year old and a four year old so it was just ideal for them we had so much fun we were jam-packed busy all day from like from the moment we got up until the moment we went to bed so it was so much to do i have put a little post over on instagram just to kind of share a few of my like tips and stuff and like what we got up to but if you're not on Instagram, we did loads of things. So the boys, of course, had football. We went to watch the Mars Singer show, which was brilliant. We also watched the Animal, v Animal vs. Dinosaur show, which was really good as well. And we went to Red's, which is like a little bit of a, like a bar, I suppose. An evening kind of place where you go with the kids. But they had loads of shows on the stage. They even had a TikTok night, which the kids were loving as well. Loads of music. And they obviously had the Red, red Coats as well singing, which was just... Fab. yeah it was just so good the boys loved the arcades we went bowling we went swimming there was literally so much to do there was also the indoor fairground outdoor fairground um so yeah if you're thinking about going to butlins and you're not really sure whether it's worth going i think it's 100 percent worth it especially for our kids ages i was looking at center parks as well the price for center parks was double the price of the one we got for butlins butlins i got a really good deal actually and i never get good deals usually but i was just looking and i thought i will book it and i booked this probably three weeks ago now so three weeks before we wanted to go i just had a quick little look saw it and just booked it and we stayed in the bayside apartments and that was my favourite accommodation. We've stayed in loads of um, Butlins accommodation. In the past, we've stayed in the silver apartments, the gold apartments. We stayed in like the new style chalets. And then, of course, we stayed in the Bayside apartments. And the Bayside apartments were definitely my favourite. One, because it's right next to the pavilion. So it's really short distance to walk, especially if the weather's a bit iffy. It was ideal. Also, you get like an underground parking spot. So you don't have to walk far for your parking. And you can just take all your luggage really easily as well. And you get a kitchen. It was really spacious, like massive. And we got a beautiful view of the seaside. So it was really good. I, I just had such a good weekend. I'm literally buzzing in from this weekend it was so good the boys just had the best time from start to finish so yeah but i don't know how they've still got so much energy down there they're downstairs at the minute playing and i like feel so tired i feel like i need another holiday now just to relax but um because it was just so full on but yeah it was just so fun because I've got some empties here which I've had for about two weeks and they're on my dressing table and every time I see them I'm like I must talk about those because I didn't want to throw them away I'm doing an old school empties kind of um segment for you in the video today but there are just a few products that I just really love and I thought I would share them with you so first of all I've got Ariana Grande Cloud let me just check this is still in focus because it keeps going out of focus anyway Ariana Grande Cloud 
this is such a lovely everyday perfume I, it's just so hard to explain this scent it's got that kind of marshmallowy sweetness to it but it's still still grown up if you know what i mean i've got the tiniest little bit left and i want to get another one i'm gonna get another one actually um, but I wanted to show you that because if you're looking for a nice everyday perfume, quite sweet, quite girly, then this is a really lovely one to try. I do like quite masculine scents as well. It has got a slight masculine hint to it when you first smell it, but it is quite a sweet perfume as well. So yeah, that is my favourite perfume at the moment. I've also got an empty one of these, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've got so many of these. I've got, I've got loads actually, I've also got, which one have I got here that I'm currently using? I've got the Translucent Ultra Blur Powder, which is also really good. I don't really see much of a difference between the two, to be honest, but um, I've run out of that one. It's a great setting powder. It's the only setting powder that I use when I apply my foundation. I have to use setting powder because otherwise I just go really oily throughout the day. My skin just goes really shiny and I don't mind the shiny look, like I don't mind a bit of a dewy look, but... I just find that my makeup moves around a lot more if I don't set it. So I always use that powder and it's fabulous. So I've been using that. And then I've got a couple of foundations to share with you. They're so dirty now because they're literally old and wrecked. But um, I've got the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is amazing. A gorgeous everyday foundation. It's kind of my go-to if I need something that I, I need to look good all day long. It lasts all day. Um, it's like a foolproof foundation. I'll bring it away with me when I'm going away. It's buildable, medium to full coverage. And yeah, I really like it. It's not, I'd say medium coverage actually. You can build it up, but you can sheer it out as well. And the shade I use for this one, uh, I think is for golden beige maybe? Can't remember now, does it say on here? Oh yeah, golden natural. I go between golden natural and golden beige. I'm not too sure of the difference, but I just picked this one up when I was last in town. I feel like this is a little bit more neutral. Um, but yeah, I've got a little bit left there, but it's so hard to get it out of the bottle. That's the only thing I don't really love the pump because if, if you if I start using this pump now, it will just go everywhere. So yeah, that's a bit annoying and I can't really get this off. I might see if I can get Mark to pull this off for me later to see if I can get the last bits out of it because it's such a lovely foundation. And another foundation that's like more of a high street one is this number seven one. This is the Restore and Renew serum foundation with spf 30 has this got spf in it no it match doesn't have spf in it oh spf 17 actually this one's got spf 30 i love the color of this i use the shade honey and yeah a lovely again a nice everyday foundation it's a bit more beigey than this one here the shade that i've got there and it's really nice i have got another one of these in the shade latte i think it is which i'm using but it's still a bit too dark for me but with with these ones you can shear them out so if you just apply it a little bit you can kind of shear it out on your skin and you can kind of make it work and um, if you just put a little bit of lighter concealer and all of that so yeah these are kind of my go-to's for foundations at the moment nice high street buys and yeah you can often get number seven vouchers in boots as well so it's worth giving it a try if you want a nice new serum foundation so i've got that one and i think that was it i'm sure i've got loads of other products i just don't know where any of them are Let's have a look if I've got any other empties in here. No, I don't think I've got any other empties, but I do want to talk about two products that I've been using from Beauty Pie. So you might remember last month, I think it was, I shared some Beauty Pie products with you. And because I've been using them for the last month or so, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of my favourites. We've got the Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF 20 Tinted Moisturiser, which is what I've got on my skin today. Very nice very easy to wear i just wanted something light today on my skin and this has been working really really well it lasts really nicely throughout the day but my absolute favorite is this the triple beauty luminizing wand i haven't got it on actually today but this is just so beautiful such a nice highlighter really finishes off the makeup gives you just that real youthful look and it's really easy to apply this is going to last me ages because i haven't even squeezed the tube there's still product there so you literally just apply it and then blend it into your skin and it's just really lovely it doesn't move my makeup around or anything like that i can even apply it when i've set my makeup and just gently kind of tap it in and it works really well so those are a couple of my favorite beauty pie beauty pie products at the minute I haven't done another order yet i should do actually um i will do another order soon but yeah those are a couple of products that i've been loving as well also um no i think that's everything oh actually 
I have been loving this actually from Vive, and this is the Vive. Um, what's this called now? The I want in the shade Camel, and it just looks like this. It looks quite dark actually, but you can really blend it out onto your eyelid. So I just literally draw this onto my eyelid very roughly, and then either with my fingers or with a brush, I kind of just blend it out. I find it's better with your fingers because you can kind of warm the product up and just blend it out on your eyelid. And it just gives a really nice, soft um, brown look to your eyelids. It just warms it up, makes my eyes pop because it's, of course, like that brownie caramel tone makes blue eyes really pop I think so yeah I've really been enjoying that as well instead of using my usual kind of bronzer trick where I use a bronzer I find that this one will last all day long and it looks really nice so that is that I thought I'd show you this bag as well whilst we're here because I used this whilst we were away when we went to swim in and I think I got this from mango did I let's have a look yeah I think it's definitely mango and it's just this gingham bag which I think is great it's like a great shopping bag you know you can just fold this up in your main bag and use it as a shopping bag and it's just brilliant it's got a popper in the center here so you can kind of open it up and then you have got a little pocket here with a zip so you could put your purse in there if you needed to. And then it's just a large shopping bag, really. Used it for when we went swimming, which was so chaotic. Oh my God. The swimming pool was packed because we all went on the Saturday. And, but Lynn's on a weekend. We've never, I don't think we've been on a weekend before. We've always done like midweek trip. The weekends are so much busier. When we were speaking to the lady in one of the restaurants, she said that there was about 6,700 people on site, which is a lot of people, isn't it? So obviously everyone wants to go swimming. Everyone has the same idea. They all want to go on a Saturday afternoon and yeah that it was like literally like an hour queue I think to get in there so yeah it was so so busy but anyway I loved using this bag for just putting all of our stuff in it just really quickly because I forgot our actual swim bag but luckily I brought that one and then we could use it when we went swimming anyway so yeah that was that that's a little catch up for you I feel like I've been talking your ear off so really sorry about that but yeah I feel like I had to come on here just to have a quick chat and a catch up with you because it's just been so hectic and like I said the boys have been off so I wanted to say sorry because I haven't really been as regular with my uploads recently it's been more once a week than twice a week at the minute but it's just because I've been so hectic and busy but if you've got any video requests anything you'd like to see then please let me know in the comments down below whether you want to see any sit down videos or vlog type videos I always do vlogs obviously but if there's anything particular you would like to see please let me know um but yeah my nails are looking good still I I've had these done for like three weeks now and well it's nearly four weeks actually and they still look fabulous I'm loving the pink let me know what colour I should do next. I really don't know because I feel like pink is my colour now. I really love it. I was going to go for red last time, but then I don't think I could last a whole month with the red. I don't know if it's a bit much. Maybe I'll do red or maybe I'll just keep it neutral next time because I haven't really done a neutral nail for a while. But yeah, I really am loving the pink at the minute. Um, but yeah, that is kind of it. I feel like I've caught you up on everything. Have I? I think so. The boys are all really good. They've all had like football. A couple of them have had conjunctivitis actually, which hasn't been great. And I feel like that's gonna be me next because obviously I've been the one dealing with their eyes. I've been washing my hands after every time I touch them, but you know what it's like, it's so contagious, isn't it? And last time I had conjunctivitis, I was pregnant, heavily pregnant with Renzo. And oh my God, my face was just like a big puffer fish. Honestly, I just looked awful and my eyes were so swollen I could barely open them for a good solid week and I said to Mark, I was like, oh my god, please don't let me go into labour <laughs> like this. But um, oh yeah, it was quite near the end of my pregnancy with Renzo. So that was the last time I had it. Vinny had it and then he passed it on to me. So I really hope I don't get it. Um, but they're all like clear now, so that's good. But yeah, they've had that. But yeah, they've all got football tonight. Vinny and Renzo have got football, of course. And yeah, it's just keeping the kids entertained this week. That is my mission. I think I'm gonna end the video there. I'm still loving my hair. It does need a wash actually, but still really happy with the color. I'm so glad I did it at home. I hope that was helpful for you as well. If you've got any questions about that, do list them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, let me know what you'd like to see from me next. Um, I will do some gardening videos for you as well soon, just like sprucing up the garden for spring. Well, it is spring now, I can't believe it. How quick are these months going at the minute? They are going so quick and yeah, I can't believe it. So yeah, I'm gonna go see to the boys now and sort them out, we're gonna go out for a little bit. So I hope you have a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you all in my next video.